With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's begin with the question and in the question it says that a 4 meter long ladder weighing 25 kg rests rest with its upper surface against a smooth wall and lower end on the ground. So what should be the minimum value of coefficient of friction between the ground and the ladder for it to be inclined at 60 degree that means the ground and the ladder is having an angle of 60 degree with horizontal with the horizontal without any slip. So we have to find out the coefficient of friction with the horizontal and when the uh, ladder is not going to have any slip. So let's draw the diagram and then we will understand what is happening. So here uh, this is the wall and this is the ground and the ladder suppose this is the limit suppose this is the ladder now this ladder is having length of 4 meter that is given in the question and this ladder is making an angle of 60 degree with the ground now here it is the surface which is uh, sorry it is rough surface and because the ground and the ladder is having some friction and the ground and the wall is not having any friction so this surface is smooth okay now let's resolve the forces into vertical and horizontal direction so here the the normal reaction will act into this direction and here the normal reaction act into the upper direction a weight of the ladder will act into downward direction from the center and if the if we leave the uh, ladder like this, so it will certainly move into this direction, try to move into this direction. So due to which friction will act into this direction. So this is the direction of friction. So if we name them, this is this is N1, this is N2, this is W, and let's say this is friction Fr. Length of the ladder is 4 meter, that is mentioned in the question. Now what we do now we will resolve the forces because for equilibrium the forces in the vertical direction should be equal to zero and the forces in the, in the horizontal direction should be equal to zero so for equilibrium for equilibrium okay forces in the vertical direction should be zero so f v is equal to zero so if you see in the diagram the forces that is acting in the vertical direction is W and N2 so simply here N2 is equal to W again the for equilibrium for equilibrium the forces in the horizontal is also equal to 0 so with this we can say that the forces that is acting into horizontal direction is friction force and N1 so with this we can say that N1 is equal to Fr. So on the surface on which Fr is acting there is normal reaction N2. So Fr will be equal to mu N1, mu N2 sorry. So this is mu N2 and if you see, say this is equation 1. So from equation 1 if you see that N2 is equal to W. So N1 is equal to mu into W. Okay. So this is say this is equation 2. So what we do now we will take the moment and we will take the moment around this point say this is point O, this is P and this point is Q. So when we take moment around O the forces that is acting at the point O will not contribute in the torque. The forces that is acting P and Q will contribute in the tar torque and they will cancel each other so that net moment will be equal to 0. So taking moment at O okay now moment will be equal to force into perpendicular distance so n1 for n1 the perpendicular distance will be this so this say this is r1 and for w the perpendicular should will be this say this is r2 and they should be equal and opposite to each other so with this we can say that n1 r1 minus w R2 and this will be equal to 0 right so R1 will be equal to since this is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree 
and if this is the height this height will be length of the rod no, length of the ladder and into sin 60 so that means r1 is equal to 4 into sin 60 similarly r2 will be since a uh, weight act at the center of mass so that means this distance will be 2 so r2 will be equal to 2 cos 60 so now we will put all these values in this equation so here n1 into 4 sin 60 minus w into 2 cos 60 and this will be equal to 0 so if we n into 4 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 minus w into 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 from this we get n1 into 2 root 3 is equal to w and with this n1 is equal to w by 2 root 3 say this is equation 3 now take a look at uh, equation 2 that is n1 is equal to mu w2 and equation 3 is n1 is equal to 2 by 1 by 2 root 3 so with this by comparing 2 and 3 equations we can say that mu is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 so from this we can say mu is equal to 1 by 2 root 3 so when we calculate this the value will come out mu is equal to 0 0.29 this is nearly equal to 0 0.29 so this is the value of mu in the end came out now when we move towards the option and matches with the answer that we have calculated so we can directly say that option 2 is the most appropriate option 2 is the matching one so this is the answer of this question this was about this question thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today